this entry out. I'm playing with the wrong keys. There we go. Okay, that's better. Everything seems to be running smoothly. Oh, loading train! And still loading screen. And forever loading screen, apparently. Oh, now looking at the floor. Okay. Okay, random people. It's been so long since I've played this game. I hope I can remember how to play this game. <laughs> Change the volume up just a hair. I'll probably cut this part out if I don't. Well, I'm sorry, everybody. I just have a few squares. Oh, that's a little better. I can actually hear it now. What are you guys doing? Hey, what are you doing? Hey. This place seems very. Now, now that I'm noticing, like, it's been a while since I played the game. For a long time, actually. I'll be honest. The place doesn't seem all that safe. Like, literally have a missile pointed down that train track. Like, that's a bad thing. Okay? But the part if you, is if I jump, I get thrown back. Okay. Hey, hey, guys. Hey, how's it going? Gordon Freeman, the most dangerous mine in the world. Due to the high toxicity of material routinely handled in the Black Mesa compound, no smoking, eating, or drinking are permitted within the Black Mesa transit system. <laughs> yeah, after you see what happens to this place, you don't doubt that. Actually, it's been so long. Who, who hasn't played or seen Half-Life videos? I mean, come on. This is, of course, Black Mesa, which is the free source program, I believe it is. And I have modded a few things into it, added a few things to it. Uh, different weapons, uh, I'll probably add more later. Um, for the most part, I added some extra areas for us to explore. Playable characters from the blue ship, I believe. I believe that's the the police officer you get to play as, or the security guard, or whatever the game wants to consider him. Um, I actually like I actually like blue ship. That was a good one. I didn't like the other one where you got to play as the the counter ops agents. That that was kind of bleh. I think my computer actually wants to work today, though. So that's that's a good sign. Or maybe that's it. How's it going? Come on. Now, the best thing about this game is I believe I believe every part of this area that you see here you can eventually reach or you have to go through. They're sealing us in. Second Vault 88. Half-Life beat you to it. <laughs> I refuse to let anyone step back on that one. Half-Life beat the true vaults. I know, I'm pretty sure that uh, Fallout did come before. Actually, I'm almost certain it did, but I mean... Now, this is a vault. Hello? <laughs> Gordon Freeman, age 27. With more degrees than he should have at age 27. <laughs> The world's most dangerous mime. HD, MIT, theoretical physics. Sheldon Cooper's best friend. Gordon Freeman should be a playable character in the next Smash Brothers. Position, research, associate. No, oh, that's probably not healthy. Should probably have some kind of shielding around that. And that. Or is it, or are they taking the shield? That might be them taking the shielding off, maybe? 
That still seems awfully dangerous to be right next to a tram. <laughs> There's level three! <laughs> Which means absolutely nothing in this game because... Ah, I have a sponsor, uh, administrative sponsor. I'm gonna guess it's Jack Slinkster because that's just what I would love to have as my sponsor. Disaster response priority, discretionary. Oh no, no. I'm about to own oh, all y'all. I'm actually surprised that my computer's actually running as well as it is right now. I I spent a day and a half trying to make it run. Seriously guys, what are we doing down here? This thing this seems like an excessive, excessive, excessive amount of uh, security for nothing, but again, at least at least our company's name isn't Dynacore. Or whatever, whatever uh, Dooms is. I know Alien, I believe Aliens was Dynacore. I'm pretty, sure, I'm pretty sure Gordon Freeman could take down an entire uh, demon invasion by himself. Oh, there he is. There's that schmug SOB. I know who you are. I know who you are. I also love how these robots look. Yeah, this, is how I, this is how I predict robots would look if they were in a working environment. But we'll be back to that zone later, too, because I know that area. Oh yeah, we're here. Uh, this is my, this is my exit. Please stand back from the automated door and wait for the security <coughs> officer to verify your identity. Before exiting the train, <coughs> let me out! Let me out! Let me out! Thank you, and have a very safe and safe day. Let me out! Let me out! Another loading screen. I'm feeling much better than I have the past couple days. I've been awfully sick. Uh, me and Maxine have both been awfully sick. And that's just, it's not fun. Morning, Mr. Freeman. Morning. Wait, do I have to put subtitles on? Hang on, let me... I, I might have forgot to put subtitles on. Hang on. Wait, can I put subtitles on? I think, think I might be able to. Key difficulty, keyboard, mouse, audio, oh, captioning, yes. Closed captions. Yeah, let's do closed captions. Yep. I am. You look a hell of a lot better than you did in the original game. That's his name. Barney's the, the guard. Maybe. Maybe not. Who are you to judge? Huh? Slam your head into that thing repeatedly. Care. Man, you cut the bone tail. Fuck you! <laughs> I'm a sellout. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, Gordon Freeman with a ponytail would be pretty cool looking. Anomalous materials. I had a bunch of messages. We had a system crash about 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my phone. It's one of those days, I guess. Okay. You're also having some problems down in the test chamber, too. I think that's all straight now. He told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got the hazard suit. Okay. I'm gonna go find my hazard suit real quick. How's it going? Don't do it. Don't do it. The trap. Now, if I remember correctly. Good morning, Mr. Freeman. What? Those TPS reports have gotten progressively worse. Can you tell me where to go? No one's freaking out that there was a coolant leak earlier. Morning, champ. I 
Yeah. You all have to wear these ridiculous ties. It's easier to it's easier for them to find out who, who's gonna die. Yang, Stone, Montero, Tripolt, Pulaski, Truman, oh Jarrell, Chinner, Robertson, Clayson, Bo Boetsma. Where's my where's mine? Where's mine? Oh of course the, 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 the differently colored one. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, I tried it on my suit yet. Can I help this guy out? Let's see here. Hello. Could somebody get me some toilet paper? Oh, thank heavens. <laughs> I'm in dire need of some toilet paper. I heard you. Alright, so. Yep, now I run over here. Push the button to get what is by far one of my favorite quotation marks, power armors, and quotation marks there has ever been. The Hev suit. Oh, look at those gloves. Ah. Oh. Five foot eleven and 192 pounds. Freeman, I'm hoping that weight's after the suit's on. <laughs> gotta laugh at it is this is a, a hazardous environmental suit right it's, it's designed to protect you from hazardous environments why would it need a munitions counter <laughs> why does this need need firepower like I already know why oh, so what are you talking about this thing kicks ass this thing does all kinds of cool stuff Protects you from biotoxins, protects you from disease, protects you from light, medium, and fire and high arms. I'm just skipping out all these people because they're all gonna die soon. So I mean, we'll go exploring in a minute. All these, all these computers have crashed. Can you access the mail server? No, because everything crashed. Didn't you hear everybody? There he is. Right on through, sir. Alright. Don't blink. Yeah, he won't let you through. He won't let you through unless you have the suit on, so. Yeah, how's it going? Working as a team. Hydroelectric dam. Oh, I don't give one. Alright, so. Since we've already gone like 500 feet under Earth's surface right now, might as well go a few hundred more, huh? I'm pretty sure somebody's already done the estimate, but if somebody knows just exactly how deep this is supposed to be underground, you can give me the heads up, because this is, this is pretty amazing. Alrighty, so... I guess I should get the intro out of the way, since I'm already 15 minutes in, but good morning, good evening, or good afternoon, and thank you for joining us once again, the Modern Stars of Gaming. I'm Kaiju K, and uh, we are playing uh, The Last Fluctuation. I mean, Black Mesa. Uh, modded, of course. Um, it's, been a, it's been a little while, and I'm apologetic for that. Uh, now, where did I leave that shutdown procedure chart? I'm sure it'll show up sooner or later. Please find it. <laughs> don't, don't, fine, don't talk to me. I'm a little juddery. Around this area, it always is. He... Yeah, it's going to be a little, a little touch and go for a moment here. Because there's a lot of stuff going on right now. The game's still trying to load everything up, so. And my PC's dying, of course, so. 
So anyways, uh, the reason I haven't been doing recordings in a while is, oh, A, I got sick, B, I got really, really, really depressed, and my psychosis kicked in, and I began thinking everyone hated me again. And finally, my computer decided to start dying on me. Um, it is an old computer. It's been going on. I'm, I'm trying to get a replacement, but I'm also trying to get work so I can get a replacement. But uh, I'm going to be speaking with the Monsters tonight uh, about possibly uh, altering some things. Uh, I know that uh, Redfield wants to do some recordings on his own and then send them to us, so we might get some Redfield-only recordings. Also, Redfield's planning on going to college for uh, voice acting, so... Congratulations to him for that. Um, now, the computer seems to be running quite smoothly. The microphone seems to be working. I can jump. I can scoot. So I'm hoping that everything runs well. Um, I'm planning on making this a series. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoy it. Um, let's just peek around here and say hi. Oh, I was just finishing plowing your girlfriend, buddy. I'm sorry. Test chamber. What are you cold? You angry? I don't care. <laughs> this suit grants me strength and super jumping and everything, so I mean, I'm not sure if it actually does super jumping, but I mean, I, I'm jumping pretty high for a, for basically a scientist this year. Oh, that's that's fine. What in the blaze is going on with our equipment? Huh. But I mean, either either he's a track and field star, you know, or he's just this. My guess is something the suit does for you. Because I mean, from a stand, this is actually a fairly good jump for a non-running jump. I mean. I can clear this. This looks like it's probably about, I don't know, waist high, maybe, so it's about 2.5 feet, maybe almost a meter. And without a run, you know, he can clear that. Try, try that at home. Try, try walking up to something and just hopping over it, you know. It takes some effort, but this guy gets some serious air. Ghost. The level is off the charts. No! Not Beckwell's ghost! This is no way, no, this is no way. Don't think they're gonna let interns in here, Tiny. Hey. Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, Ombre. Ombre. Actually, I don't exactly know Gordon Freeman's nationality. I mean, I know he's Caucasian, but I don't know anything about his actual background. Gordon, Gordon, Gordon. Gordon sounds like it might be an Irish name, maybe? This is the purest son of the we've seen. So you're just gonna throw me in there? Oh, of course it will be. When I get my crowbar, I will beat both of you to death. <laughs> if you're not already eaten by monsters. All oh, right, you are. You're all gonna die. We have complete confidence in you. Do you? Do you really? Let's let him in. Could, could, you, could you at least let me get a full charge on my HEV suit then? No? No? I suck. Okay. Yay. Start the rotors, 
that way we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. There we go. Bit of knowledge for everyone, just gonna go down. View of this thing going off. Oh, this looks like the thing from Doom that opened up the hell gate. Oh, yeah. I'm seeing what looks like force light. Stage two emitters activating now. Oh, okay. Gordon, we cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level, nor how long the reading will take. But please work as quickly as you can. Okay. No matter how you look at it. It seems the beams only go up. <laughs> oh, the Vortigaunt. Where are you? Let's see, where are you? Okay. 